Hey guys, this is Production Music Live with another sound design tutorial and today we are making this kind of dirty drop sound. It's a bit like uh, flumes holding on drop sound. Um, I'm going to solo it for you. So, by the way, those are the MIDI's and if you want to learn more about music theory, we made a course about harmony and chord progression, check out the link in the description. Okay, I just loaded in a new instance of Massive, uh, no preset loaded. So, on the first oscillator, we are taking the Additive Mix 1 wavetable and wavetable position all the way up, intensity all the way up and M as amp as well and we are routing this to filter 1 and on the second oscillator we are taking this strontium wavetable and we are setting the position to about 2 o'clock intensity all the way up and amp as well and this goes to filter to 1 as well and by the way we are pitching the first oscillators down by 12 semitones on the third oscillator we are picking this uh, Rothmeth 1 wavetable and position to all the way up, intensity all the way up and the amp about 2 o'clock and this is going to filter 1 as well. On filter 1 we are choosing a low pass 4, increasing the resonance a bit and now we move on to the fourth envelope which is controlling the amp of the synthesizer. Here we are increasing the sustain a bit and increasing the attack and that's already everything and um, then we move on to envelope number one and we are routing this to filter cutoff one and dragging it up to about uh, two o'clock here we are increasing the decay a little bit, decreasing the sustain and increasing also the um, attack a little bit. And so let's have a listen. Okay, cool. So um, now let's move on to the voicing tab where we go to eight voices. Mm -hmm. We turn on the pen position and moving it to the left or the right side, doesn't matter. And we are also activating the pitch cutoff and we'll make it to 0.50. And now we are taking the second envelope and routing it to the pitch and dragging it up. So let's go to the, to the second envelope. Here we are turning down the decay and the level as well. And the attack can stay like this and level up, release like this. So, um, Every time a signal is coming in, um, this cutoff will pitch up and fall down again. So let's have a listen how this sounds now. By the way, let me deactivate this utility. Um, this is just an automation which goes to from mono to stereo, but we don't need this now. So already pretty cool. Um, the next thing we are going to do is we're going to the modulation oscillator and we are pitching it down 24 semitones and we are modulating the face of the first envelope and the position of the second envelope. Um, let's go back to the face. Here we can assign a macro to it 
and call it face. And on the position as well. So let's take the position up. So pretty cool already. So then we can add some reverb, size down a bit, um, dry wet to about here. And we can add some chorus, would be nice, I think. We can actually make it a macro. This is, uh, I forgot to pitch down um, the third oscillator by 12 semitones, so um, it's a bit darker like this. So, but the really cool thing is to modulate uh, the pitch cutoff with an uh, envelope and we can play around with uh, the attack, for example. So pretty cool. Uh, we could uh, assign uh, even uh, LFO to those oscillators to give it a little bit of movement. And we pitch it up just about 0 0.20 semitones. <laughs> Another cool uh, thing is to add a little bit of uh, feedback. So let's try this. Okay, I like it this way. So this is a template we just made. Check out the link in the description. Subscribe to our channel, visit us on productionmusiclife.com and hope to see you next time. Bye.